Okay, welcome. My name is Tim Scoggins, Chairman of the Shaftesbury Select Board, and I am calling this meeting of the Shaftesbury Select Board to order at 6.30 on Monday, May 6, 2019. Does any member of the Select Board have a conflict of interest with anything appearing on the agenda this evening? No. 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 If we open the bids for hauling of gravel, I have to recuse myself. The company I'm associated with bid on it. Okay, thank you. Yes, we are planning to do that during the roads report. Okay. Uh, approval of minutes. We had two sets of minutes that were circulated for April 1st and April 15th. Is there a motion to approve the minutes for April 1st as circulated? So moved. Moved by Art. Second. Second by Ken. Let's see. Tim, Ken, Art, Tony. Okay, yeah, so we have enough to approve. Right. Any discussion? Addition? additions or corrections to the minutes for April 1st. All in favor of approval say aye. 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 Abstaining? Sure. Since you weren't here, no, no voting against. Okay, so the minutes for April 1st are approved by a vote of 401. And we have minutes for April 15th that were circulated. So moved. Motion to approve from Tony. Second. Second by Art. Any discussion, additions, or corrections to the minutes for April 15th? It looks like we were all there that night. All in favor of approval say aye. 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 So the minutes for April 15th are approved by a vote of 500. Okay, warrants. I have payroll warrant number 22 in the amount of $20,575.48. So moved. Motion to approve from Tony. Second. Second by Art. Any discussion on the payroll warrant? All in favor of approving payroll warrant number 22 say aye. 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 So that warrant is approved. Approved in the amount of twenty thousand five hundred seventy-five dollars and forty-eight cents. Next, I have check warrant number 34 in the amount of $56,633.55. So moved. Motion to approve from Tony. Second. Second by Art. Major items over $1,000, 1,600 artistic cemetery memorials. Was that cleaning? That's uh, the uh, headstone cleaning. Stone cleaning. Uh, 1,500 to GA Bow Fuels. Uh, 12000 to KAS for the garage well, it says. 10000 to People's United Bank for payment on 510 North Street. That'd be our last one? That's the last one. Yeah. Very good. Uh, 2100 to Sycamore Landscaping for April Cemetery mowing. 23000 to Weaver Landscaping, it says Murphy Hill Road. That's part of the state grant. That's all we embarrassed by the state. And 2500 to William E. Daly. Any other discussion? Is, is that the second place that we bought on North Road? Yes. Okay, so the first one is all paid for. Right. Also, so everything is good. Yep. All, okay, good. Yep. <clears throat> all in favor of approving check warrant number 34, say aye. 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 So, check warrant number 34, the amount of $56,633.55 is approved, 500. Are there any announcements? 
truck. Uh, yeah, a couple of announcements. Um, as is our annual tradition now, we will be honoring our Shaftesbury Volunteer Fire Department at Shaftesbury Elementary School Big Truck Night. That is Friday, May 17th. The festival goes from 5.30 to 7.30. We will do our honors probably around 6.30 that evening. Hope everyone can come out and uh, help us show our appreciation to our firefighters. We will be handing out um, five-year milestone awards to the firefighters who have this year uh, achieved five years of service on the fire department. Also, I'd like to uh, point out uh, that we have some artwork here at Shaftesbury uh, at the uh, Cole Hall, second floor now, and our newly renovated bare walls are not so bare anymore. And we want to take uh, the opportunity to thank Tom Fells for loaning some Frank Howard art. Uh, we've got several paintings up here. Frank Howard, many of you know, is a Shaftesbury artist who had the fruit, vegetable fruit stand turned into art museum on 7A. That was kind of a, uh, a local landmark for a lot of years. And we're really happy to have some of his uh, artwork, in particular several scenes of Shaftesbury itself in the pictures here. So it, it brightens the room quite nicely. Any public comments? Can I? Yes. I think another announcement. Do we know what the schedule for Mr. Weaver is? I think it would be nice if we could warn people about road closures. Okay. Uh, do you know what what, what he might do next week or, th or just uh, for, or can, this week? I can find out tomorrow. I don't really have his schedule. I'm not sure if he's going to be working on the road tomorrow. There's two left side of Mill and West Mountain. Okay. So we, we can get those out. I, it just. Sometimes by the time you, you know you get to all of a sudden the dirt road goes and mm. that sort of stuff. Okay. Okay. So you can yep. get it on the website. Yeah, let me know and I'll put it up on the website. Yeah. Okay. Treasurer's report. Melanie Dexter, pull up a chair. Okay. Um, let's look at the cash want? flow for April. April. Okay. Uh, so uh, if you go down to our sort of bottom line cash position, this is what I've been talking about, that we're, um, we've got a little less cash on hand than we go a tiny bit lower. Okay, that's our cash on hand at the end of April was uh, 227000 um, A little less than it has been the last few years. So I'm keeping an eye on that because uh, Ideally, I don't like it to go below 100, but it's definitely going to this year. But um, so I've been squeezing out every penny I can, um, transferring um, money whenever there's anything owing the general fund, and um, I will be okay. But it's going to be close. I talk about it with Dave just about every day, but mm -hmm. um, we'll probably get down to about 50,000 um, in the in the bank account. But uh, as I mentioned, I think at the last meeting, I'll have the paperwork already to go for the line of credit. Um, so you guys can um, do all of the due diligence of voting for that, and then I'll have it in place so that uh, at midnight on July 1st, I can <laughs> make a draw. Mm -hmm. um, so, so this, is a, uh, this is a timing issue. It's not representing deficit yeah, spending. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just, we've, we've been looking for, yeah. it. it's just um, a bunch of things are moving you know, it just means that like maybe we're a little bit behind uh, with delinquent taxes because they're they're based on a on a tax year and not on a fiscal year. For example, that's something. Another thing is that in other years we've gotten um, the final cash flow from the education um, uh, from the state has been in our favor. We can't count on that because they haven't even done the calculation yet. Now that's supposed to happen in April and, and there's something wrong with that this year and all of the treasurers are howling about it, but um, the state apparently has been an encountering some um, technical problems with getting the information out, so we don't know that yet. That could change everything. Like, mm -hmm. um, okay, so it's the state's fault. I got no problem. <laughs> Well, that's just one factor. So there are a lot of factors that are um, sort of all moving in one direction. That's why it's happening this year and a half, three years. It's not anything to be worried about. The budget, if you can, if you go down to the very bottom, as usual, um, the budget is, is perfect. We're uh, mm -hmm. 
last year you remember that that was a freakishly small uh, variance with the budget. It was like, what was it, 0.01% yeah. yeah. or something. Mm -hmm. And we're right on track with that. It's, it's uh, the expenditures are we're tiny, tiny bit ahead of where they were last year, but mm -hmm. um, everything's really right on track. Yeah. And Dave's been looking at it, at yeah. the projecting to the what's going to happen in June, and um, there are no surprises coming. Yeah, we're going to be we're going to be tighter than even I like to be tight, but uh, it, it's going to be close. We're running between one percent under the budget to one percent over the budget now, depending on where things fall. We're basically going to be on a spending freeze for the next two months. A lot of it has to do with lots of mud, which chewed up a lot of money, and uh, pretty much we had to overhaul the fleet. Not the old things, but you know, for instance, eighteen thousand we had to spend on the twenty uh, eleven grader, which really is a lot of money for one piece of equipment. But if that isn't moving, we really have problems. But we can manage the whole thing in. But it, it is going to be, it is going to be right on the money this year. It could be, like I said, one percent over, one percent under. There's so many variables when you get to this time of year because you're not going to spend every part of everything. Um, but then one thing goes wrong and you could be looking at something else. But right now we're on track and it's just tight. So I'm put, kind of putting the uh, screws down on all spending. Well, every year we borrow money in lieu of taxes. We can't do that. Yeah, we can't do early. it until the new fiscal year. That's why I said I'll be doing it on July 1st. Oh, okay. Um, because we we've already done it for this fiscal year. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And then we, we pay it back in uh, December. So when taxes. Yeah. Yes. It's just it's it's just a weird uh, fact that the tax year it, well the tax year is the same as a fiscal year, but the actual collections are out of sync with, with the fiscal year. Mm -hmm. Now you said there was some school money that we haven't gotten yet, but this well, says we we're might... at hundred and five a hundred percent of revenues. Well, it's not really it's not budgeted revenue. That's the taxes that uh, that um, don't really affect our budget at all. That budget is is the municipal budget. The uh, mm -hmm. the cash that comes in for taxes is not part of our budget. But mm -hmm. it does make sometimes we have had this unexpected um, revenue come in because this, this, the state says. Uh, well, actually, we told you we needed more money from you than we actually did need from you. So here's here's fifty thousand dollars back. It doesn't do anything for our budget, but it does mean we've got a little bit more cash in the bank. That's okay. what I mean when I say that the cash flow does not equal the budget. Um, right. Okay. But so that that as I say, that could come tomorrow, and and <laughs> all bets are off. I, I mean, they might need money from us if that if that were which happened one year and I was freaking out, but um, if that's the case, we might even, in theory, uh, run out of cash a little bit earlier. But th th there are things in place for when this happens. It's not uh, the end of the world. Yeah, okay. Um, let's see if you want to look at the other, uh, actually, let's look at the May um, uh, cash flow, just to I'll show you where we are. This is as of today. You can go down where we were before and I'll show you. Our, see, so our cash position, that's just six days later, we're uh, at 218 because that's there's another payroll that's happened. Now I think we're going to have two more pay, is it two or th no, three more before? There's three more before July 1st. Okay, so if we are saying those are about, you know, some somewhere between 18 and 20,000, so that's about 60 that's going to happen. Um, there's four more. Four more. Four more. So it's like 80,000. 80, so about 80,000 of that 218 is going to be payrolls and... Mm -hmm. So I'm projecting 189,600 in spending from that 218. Yeah. So yeah, that we are getting right yeah. down to the wire. Right down mm -hmm. to it. Yep. Uh, we've got some clerk cash coming in. We always have some um, money from the transfer station, but that's you know not mm -hmm. not very much. So anyway, the, you'll keep hearing me talk about this at every meeting, but we're we're very much on top of it, and and, okay. and there are provisions in place if if the cash gets even tighter, the bank is uh, prepared to do a short-term loan. It's just it's not the same um, payment in you know the uh, anticipate anticipating tax. It's a, a different kind of thing. Mm -hmm. It has not happened in my tenure, but it has happened before. Okay. Um, so yeah, so that's that's just showing where where it is today. And of course, tomorrow I will write all those checks that you just signed the warrant for, and then that'll go down by that amount, which was uh, 
But um, some of those are actually yeah, actually reserved. it's only like twenty one thousand will come out of the general fund. The general fund. Yeah. The others were um, one's the class three road fund, the other one's the garage reserve fund. Right. Which the mean, two big ones. So we write the checks out of the general fund, and then I I, I send the money back over. So I'll be doing that every time um, you approve a warrant. I'll be sending that money back to the general fund. Uh, so if you want to look at the reserve uh, spreadsheet real quick, I'll just, there's not all that much interesting there, but I'll show you. Uh, mostly water. Um, that uh, Lister's reappraisal, that's the, if you look down at the 290 fund, that's this money we get every year from the state as per parcel. So that's every parcel gets $1. And then there's another one uh, that happened actually in May that you'll be seeing next time. It's another 15000 or something. Those appear in the general fund, and then I have to transfer them over because they don't okay. ask me where I want the money. Mm -hmm. So that's what that is. Um, okay. and, uh, the, just a little bit of garage money you can see there. Um, yeah. Those are just dribs and drabs coming out. Yeah. The, the big one... We're all waiting on this 121,400 and something. That's the last Russell to close it out, which has basically been on, been on hold for two little things to get done. Mm -hmm. But Jack won't sign the clearance, and I wouldn't like to check until mm -hmm. they do it. So we're hoping that'll entice them for 120,000 to get somebody over to, to finish it. So, mm -hmm. uh, okay. Oh, yeah, the other thing to look at is that the coal haul line there, 280. Mm -hmm. um, you can see where we spent almost all of the money, but, but we've got something coming from the trustees that's going to pay for some more. Which will pay for the, the furniture. And yeah, the I think you approved that at a meeting. Yeah. So so if, if you were looking at and in, in, uh, tending to get alarmed that we have so little money, that's that's because that that's yet to come from mm -hmm. the trustees. Um, I don't think I have anything else to say about this. Okay. Any questions about any of this? What was that repair day about the repair? Well, it was everything from a planned service. I'd have to get it all out. Well, I mean, so just was there any major, major repair? Like I that? think a, a lot of it was uh, just bringing it up to speed uh, from things just not having been done. I mean, you know, our major expense items of, of the vehicles, which is it's kind of odd, but, uh, you know, it's really the greater, it's the uh, 2012 tandem. I mean, that was eleven thousand dollars in, in repairs. These trucks, that's not really normal. Uh, the Dodge, our infamous Dodge, which we just made the last payment on, we've done eight thousand dollars in repairs on this year. Uh, the uh, greater is eighteen thousand. Now, thirty-eight hundred of that was a major service they did here a few weeks ago, which was overdue. But you know, an awful lot of work had to be done to that vehicle to get it up to speed. And, yeah, uh, but the stuff is not going to happen right after, I guess. Well, no, this is the problem. You know, we, we found it's like for coming to the green truck, which was in good, clean shape when we got it, and needed extensive work to get it back into that shape after just one year. And that's a failure to maintain it. But we can't just, we need the fleet to move, especially in winter. So we had some expenditures, and they wasn't all on old trucks. Our, our oldest truck got a few thousand dollars worth of work. Yeah, you know, so uh, it's unfortunate, and I'm hoping now that we've spent a lot this year, and we have spent a lot this year. Uh, that next year it'll be a lot less. It's not like we have an old fleet; we have a, a fairly new fleet, really. Yeah. Uh, but I think uh, the maintenance uh, f fell behind, and it, it was bigger item maintenance than would normally be done here. I mean, a lot of it we had to send out to get done. And, yeah. Uh, it was expensive, and every time I turned around, it was like something new. And, um, well, yeah, in the middle of the kind of faced with fix them things. It, it should be fixed, the maintained daily, right? Kept clean, especially for the rust and all that. So yeah, these we shouldn't be dealing with these numbers again. Right. So that's my theory. Uh -huh. No, it's bad. Pretty much. <laughs> it is. I. Yeah, it should be. All right. Thank you, Melanie. Thank okay. you. Next up, roads report. We don't have a road foreman here. A road foreman uh, took a vacation day today. Oh, uh, okay. But he will start attending the meetings. Yeah, it will, you know, 
so he can answer all these tough questions from Mr. Harrington. He's <laughs> me about three minus stones earlier. <laughs> uh, but I'll give you a brief rundown of what's going on. Besides the daily grading, uh, we have uh, the crew is doing a lot of ditching, grading. Uh, we did the cleanup from uh, uh, Green Up Day today, picking up all the bags and the part of somebody's mower that was thrown in the ditch and uh, somebody's, the hood of somebody's snowmobile. Uh, but, you know, they've been picking that up today. We have a contractor, Weaver, who's doing four projects right now in different locations of the town. We will get that on the web page. We'll find out where it's going to be. Uh, especially the next one, he does a very, very good job marking out his construction. Uh, but one of the projects is going to be right smack in the middle of the apple orchard on West Mountain, and that's going to require signs way out that's distant right. before that, they drive that's, in. That's my point. Yeah, yeah. Um, but he's doing that, and that's all. We're actually doing probably more road work before June 30th than we have since I've been here. Uh, because we have these four projects plus uh, a new project that's also a grant that's the upper end of Shasbury Hollow will be done by June 30th. We're doing the mandatory on-site on Wednesday for that and uh, we're getting a lot of ditching done and we'll just keep doing that. Uh, and all this is already taken care of in the budget. It's not a budgetary item we have to worry about and anything to trying to hold anything back. I would say there's lots of ditching to be done, as you all know in town, and the graders keeps moving. Uh, we should have that new roller before long, I would hope, this week. Um, and that, of course, also is not part of the budget issue we were just talking about, because that's the reserve fund. And um, we'll start planning out for next year. Oh, we did, uh, I did get to notice today that we are not going to get the paving grant this year, which uh, is Understand what they had. I, I think he said they had 1.6 million, 1.7 million in requests and 600 thousand dollars to give out. And we've done pretty well. Last year we got a structures grant and a paving grant. The year before we got a paving grant. So, you know, in their method of choosing, I think it was just kind of our turn to to not get it. So, we have plenty of other things to do for the year. We might uh, turn our <coughs> attention towards some of our breaking up aprons and uh, fix some of those instead. We don't have a lot in the paving reserve, but we have some, and some of the aprons are in Class B roads, so maybe we can combine them and fix some of the aprons, at least this year. And we'll start looking into that. Now that we know we're not getting that grant, we'll start looking into that. That's about it for that. My, my personal observation is, I think we were stepped up to the plate and what, what, what he's done so far. So this that's, work, you know, he's, it, this work is, is really nice. Uh, hey, I was impressed. Hey, he, he does a great job marking the road out. Uh, he's working real well with Mike. We have daily reports. We have pictures of the work as it's going along. Uh, it's being done just like it would be done in a state job, which is, Weaver does a lot of state jobs. The work is coming out real nice, and it's a good way for us to move forward and get a lot done while our basic maintenance crew is continuing to improve the roads. I think the combination in the long term will start turning the corner here on, on the roads. Uh, it, it, this is working out really nicely. So that would be nice if we could, when we, we're talking about the budget next year to increase the budget, because this year all this stuff right now is all grant money. Yes. So, you know, we have to look at maybe we should have our own pool start hiring contractors to start working on these spots too. Because, you know, he's moving right along too. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. my point. Yeah, he's moving right along. That's what I mean, before June 30th, we're going to have more work than we've done in some years. You know, this type of work, so. So we've been, go ahead. Um, no, don't move into the new garage until the check is signed? Well, we, we, <laughs> we can do, it's kind of funny, we can do stuff in there. Uh, not signed over to us yet. It's, it's still Russell's building. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. uh, you know. I, I didn't know that you were doing rainy day jobs. You going to move stuff up there? Or yeah, they, they can start doing things. It's kind of, you know, we're in this gray area. Yes, here. okay. But, uh, I mean, we've already had the first county meeting there. Yep. You know, um, so nobody objects to that. And it, it's under our insurance, oh, okay. uh, too. I put it under our insurance. The builder's risk is coming up to uh, renewal. 
on the 16th, so I put it on our insurance, the whole building and the site. Um, but something happens, it's still less of a problem. Yep. Uh, but yeah, we, it's, I, I agree with I agree we're not going to sign anything until the last nail goes in and, and Jack signs off on it. And then I'll be glad, you know, I'm glad to sign this last check and close this out and move on to the next thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the water main's the next thing. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. um, Dave, you mentioned um, looking forward towards the next budget, uh, creating a pool of money to hire contractors to, to, to rebuild roads. Uh, something we've been talking about for a few years on, on the select board here now. Mm -hmm. And I, I just wanted to offer that I mention that whenever somebody's talking to me about the roads. And uh, almost universally, uh, the answer that I, the, the response I get is, what are you waiting for? People are really fed up with, uh, with the roads and are ready to, to see us uh, step up and spend more to get, get them in better shape. But it's, but they got to understand we're going to be taking down trees and putting ditches where they haven't been before and that sort of stuff. That's, mm -hmm. that's going to be the Yeah, we, we do get calls on nearly, it seems, everything. When we get close to anything, we start getting phone calls, you know. And we get a lot of calls about uh, taking these trees down, but the trees are, forget about being in the right way, they're right where the ditch should be. You know, they're, they're growing out of the ditch. Yes. Some of them are growing out of culverts. It's like, you know, this, a lot of them are dead, too. Yeah, a lot of them are dead, too. Yes. Yeah. It just needs to be done. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It, it looks ugly when you first do it. You know, the stuff we did in the fall to, to do before the winter, that laid a little long, granted, but, you know, if it's done, cleaned up, we move on, do the whole thing completely move on. It, it, and once it starts growing in like it is now, you don't even really notice what was done. You know, the I, stuff that was just done on Horton Hill, did that involve taking out trees? Yes. I Tree couldn't remember, because there's a new ditch there, yeah. Yeah. And I, but the whole field is full of Stump, so I wasn't sure if uh, if uh, that uh, was. I'll have to go over and look at that. Yeah, I think the the landowner must be doing some tree work there too at the same time. Yeah, because, on the lower part of the hill, Tim. Yeah, the the going down. Uh, on, on the, the right hand side, going down the hill. Yeah, on the west. I think somebody that's private landowner. Yeah, the big piles of trees have got to be because they're all yeah. through the land. But I couldn't remember if there were trees there where yeah. we oh, put yes, the new. Oh yes, there were several large trees. They were all stumped. And then okay, they good. were stumped because they had because yeah. that's where the ditches were right, line right. ditches yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. If you're talking about all the piles of brush up, that's that's the Mike Mike is doing that, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, down there, yeah, that's all. Yes. Yeah. <coughs> okay. And on Murphy Hill we took down about twenty two trees as part of that project. And the uh, property owner was glad to see him go. They can actually see out the driveway now. Yeah. So they're yeah. they're happy about it. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. But they needed to go They'll dry that corner up and uh, put two big mattresses in there to cover that spring. There's a spring in the road runs around and needs to turn the mud. So um, he did a nice job there. Weaver did. Yeah, good. Anything else on the roads? I don't think so. All right, I think we're going to uh, postpone on the personnel policy because we did not get that circulated on the cell phone policy? Yeah, we had I, too many things kept coming up. I had to choose yeah. to push that back. So. so can I ask about that? Somebody called me up and said, why are we even talking about that? Because you have two-way radios in the truck, and I couldn't answer that. Have you been putting two-way radios? There's two-way radios in the trucks. Yeah, There's you know? one or two that don't have it that we're going to get after July 1st. Okay. Because they should all be able to communicate, and they're, they're more reliable themselves in many areas okay. of town. Okay, so uh, there's really no need for anyone to be on their cell phone. Well, okay, but we aren't quite in a position to take them away completely. Then. You know, it gets touchy. I although I think you should just say no. Well, you're not supposed to just just the CDL. Well, yeah, I mean, you if, if no you're operating your, your, your truck, you're holding the CDL, you that's but, you're in all kinds of different trouble. But but we have we have decent coverage with the two-way radios. Yeah, I'm, I'm not aware of. Uh, Okay. I'd have to check with the guys individually, but I don't remember anybody complaining about the two-way radios. Okay. In parts in this town, no matter where you go, you <laughs> yeah. drop off. But, yeah. uh, 
Okay. Yeah, I mean, you can talk from one end of the town to the other on a, on those radios. Yeah. yeah. They're FM radios. They're what? They're FM radios. It's got a longer okay. range on them. So I didn't realize that when we were talking about, you know, keeping their cell phones for emergencies and stuff like that. So I don't see this as critical. Yeah, part of the reason why there's a base station that's still stuck downstairs because we have to figure out how to get the wire up to my office. One of the reasons it's there is so that when they're plowing stuff, it can be on. So if somebody has a problem, I might hear it here at the base station more than somebody else plowing another truck. You know, and there's other people who are on that frequency who would also hear someone calling for help. Okay. So there's there's a lot of value to those. All right. Again, like every other place, though. You can be in a dead spot with them. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> well, that might be something that needs to be written into the policy that we didn't talk about before, that's is right. that the primary method of communication is the that's, FM that's radio. That's yeah. my point. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything else to be said about Cole Hall or the garage? Uh, no, I think that covered it. We're just waiting for, uh, I believe we're down to waiting for Morton to put the snow guard up. Came and started in the rain last week and decided they better get off the metal roof. Mm -hmm. So I didn't get up there today, but I'm hoping on this beautiful sunny day, beautiful day, to put snow guards in so that we can sign the paperwork and be done. Uh, but I haven't heard from Jack when he's going to go through with the last punch list. Like I said, the site work punch list we went through um, with MSK two weeks ago, very minor adjustments to things. Uh, so we're right at the end. It's just the end just keeps dragging along here a little bit. <coughs> Isn't that uncommon? Mm -hmm. If I had that much money on the table, I'd be uh, pushing someone to get mm. the last well, part done. And, and they've got subcontractors waiting for their ten percent yeah. too. Yeah, I'm sitting on the last payment of one hundred twenty-one thousand dollars. I would be pushing someone to finish my job. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And call hall is nothing's different than call hall. Mm -hmm. The elevator is fixed. That's mm. Good. So. And no one broke. Oh, the batteries, just the, the batteries uh, were old and they have to be able to keep moving a certain number of feet before they go out and it didn't make it very far. So we got the batteries. Okay. I've been moved three times in 10 years. Well, I wore it out when I moved everything in and out of here. <laughs> I had moved that much the whole time it's been here. You broke it? All right. Any other business? I think we skipped the bid. Oh my god. Yes. Back to the roads. Uh, we had uh, put out a bid for uh, hauling. Remind me what the, what we're hauling. Uh, Wallingford. Uh, yeah, it is Wallingford Crush Stone now. Uh, they have aggregates that are, are very good that we want to be able to access as needed. Uh, we wanted to have for, for uh, we want to have a trucking company that would be available on call for a specified amount so that we could call them to make the runs up to get the material we want and bring it down to 526 North Road. Uh, we, for transparency, we wanted to bid out. We solicited people and to put bids in so that um, a wide range of people could, could put in for it. You know, there's a lot of guys who run out of our neighbors here at Peckham. Uh, and as you can see, we received one bid. Okay. And Art, you said uh, you were going to recuse on this part. I assume this would bid you, is associated with... Uh, would you like me to sit over there? Um, without objection, I'm fine with Art uh, keeping his seat here, yeah, recognizing fine. that he will not be voting on this. <laughs> you sealed it well. You said a sealed bid. <laughs> I mean it when I say sealed. <laughs> what a proof. I'm almost there. I got this. <laughs> I got this. Okay, we have uh, the bid is from uh, A and K Agri Services LLC. We propose a bid of seven dollars per ton to transport aggregate from Wallingford Crush Stone, Wallingford VT to Shaftesbury Town Garage in Shaftesbury.
Is that uh, the number you were looking for, Dave? Yeah, that's about right. Do you like that number? Yeah, it'll work for us. That seems to be the going rate. Okay. So it's just the average rate? Yeah. Okay. Is there a motion to accept the bid from A&K Agri-Services for crush stone hauling at $7 per ton? So moved. Moved by Ken. Second. Second by Tony. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstaining? So that, that uh, motion is accepted by a vote of 4-0-1. Thank you. Yes, I skipped right over that. So we did uh, personnel policy uh, on cell phones. We talked about coal hall and garage. We talked about <coughs> any other business. All right. Uh, reviewing action items. Um, going back, uh, water fountains at the park. Are they in yet? No, but we have a contract and we have a, a fountain. Wonderful. 400 bucks. Very good. Yeah. Not not going expensive, but functional. Yeah, can you fill a water bottle with it? Right then. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, we're talking Howard Park. Did we ever decide what the what we were going to do about Cleveland Park? Are we going to be able to do one there? No, we never really discussed that because of the way the water line is. We'd have to run a water line from uh, either the logical one would be to the neighbor to the north, uh, with their permission to cut into their lawn. Well, it's not their lawn before it gets to their service. To their meter. Yeah, and then run it down to the park, which is all getting into some money here. Mm -hmm. uh, so no, we haven't pursued that very far. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Other things we're looking at for the parks, um, like building the playground at Howard, things like that that we've talked about. We have grant money to do. Um, it's just finding something. Playground equipment is stunningly expensive. We're just trying. We're just going on the small end, uh, and then we need a fence up there and other things. So. Mm -hmm. but the cameras are working. Yeah, I was going to ask you, uh, security cameras. Yeah, yeah. I was just looking at the other day. Yeah. Yep. So they're up and running. Good. They're working. Uh, and soccer and baseball are there. Pickleball is there. So mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's happening. Have the pickleball people talked to you about nets? Yeah. Uh, uh, um, Deanie brought it up to me. I said, well, you know, we can look at it two ways. There's no way for us to secure the nets. However, if the pickleball group, which is a group of citizens from other towns besides Shaftesbury, want, I can find them, you can get storage boxes that would actually attach to that fence where their members would have a key yeah, to, yeah, yeah. so they can get their nets there. Mm -hmm. But they would have to pay for the box, because mm -hmm. it's a private club. Putting it on our fence is no big deal, but uh, I think they would have to pay for the box. Because I can, can see that, because they were the ones who said they could bring the nets back and forth, we don't have to worry about it. We could easily accommodate of, of something to hang on the fence for them. Mm -hmm. And then they would have the keys, and you know, we can't leave them open because it just won't work. Right. Okay. Okay, and uh, cemetery funds. I guess we we need to schedule a meeting with the trustees and sit down and talk about the. Yeah, the I I asked. Uh, he was supposed to get back to me last week uh, because they're due for a meeting. Uh, he hasn't gotten back to me yet, but yeah, he's expecting uh, you and I to attend the next meeting to talk about all these things. Okay. Yep. Let me know when it is. Yeah. And uh, let's see, on the 15th, we, uh, uh, Dave, did you notify MGH Solar of our decision not yep, to there. pursue that? Uh, we did order the roller, and we are working on the cell phone policy, so that one is uh, carrying forward. And tonight, the only one I caught was um, putting up uh, where we're going to be doing construction this week on the website. Anything else? What, what's the next step in the results of your survey on the internet. Yeah, I am uh, <clears throat> working with Michael Batcher at uh, BCRC to uh, turn it into uh, locations mm -hmm. where people claim they don't have internet. Uh, <clears throat> where we've gotten to so far, we've 
We've done a few initial plots of just where people said they don't have internet, but there's some inconsistency in the responses. Um, they may not have been worded as, as well as they could have. Okay. But um, we have gone in and um, uh, sort of uh, analyzed the responses and looked at people who said they have no internet, people who said they, they, uh, it's way too slow, and people who say they're only getting internet from the, the satellite companies like uh, HughesNet, which should be considered almost not having internet. Combining those, and then uh, we're going to look at mapping those in conjunction with where we know from the public service department where, K, where Comcast has wires and where Consolidated has wires. And I am meeting with uh, Michael Batcher tomorrow at his office to go over how we're going to put that together. Okay. Thank you. Um, and then the cell phone survey, uh, there, uh, I'm getting the phones back tomorrow. One of the one of the carriers didn't record all of the places I drove to, so I'm going to have to. Oh, uh, you, did, you did it also. I did it. Yeah, okay. I did the cell phone uh, survey. So yeah, we were able to map, uh, you know, every road in Shaftesbury, the the signal strength on the road, and, yeah. uh, and we've got. Um, you know, five of the six carriers work, but I must have overlooked one of the pre-ride checks I was supposed to do, so there's some filling in to do. But the first thing, uh, and we've looked at those a little bit, uh, but what really we're hoping is that first step will be that we get it folded into the state database. And then uh, we, we have all the data ourselves, and Michael Batcher is also helping me uh, look at uh, how we want to map that. And there it's a little a little hard to figure out what we want to do. Like we talked about putting into the town plan, but it's such a volume of data, it really works best on a website where you can click the carrier you want to see it at one time mm -hmm. okay. and, and go from there. But if nothing else, it will be a database uh, that will have uh, at least of AT&T, and we can see where AT&T is now, and then we can watch and see if this first net, first responders network, as it gets built out, if it does provide Increase coverage like it's supposed to, like it's promised. So. Okay. So we're working it. Thank you. If there's nothing else, then we're looking for a motion to adjourn. So moved. Moved by Ken. Second. Second by Tony. All in favor, say aye. 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 We stand adjourned.